Hi everybody, welcome to the Whales on series. My name is Milou, I'm a marine biologist and guide in Terra Azul. And in this episode, I will answer the question, how do whales and dolphins avoid decompression sickness? Be sure you stay until the end of the video because I will also give you some good tips on how to reduce plastic. And check the links in the description, put your comments there if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. Decompression sickness, also known as the BENS, is the formation of nitrogen bubbles in tissues and the bloodstream, causing local damage. This is caused by the quick change in surrounding pressure, meaning when you move from deep water in a time period that is too short to less deep water where the surrounding pressure is lower. The cause for decompression sickness can be dive time, dive depth and surfacing methods. And the trigger to release the disease are usually diving too long or diving too deep. So imagine anyone exposed to that kind of conditions can get the disease. And those are mainly scuba divers, pilots, astronauts, compressed air workers, and even whales and dolphins. Because they are mammals just like us, they have lungs, so they stop breathing during diving. And this leads to some physiological conditions, such as the heartbeat slowing down, the rib cage collapsing, and most of their oxygen is stored in the vital organs like the brain and the heart. When they go for deep dives, the water pressure rises and the absorption of gases at high pressure can be potentially dangerous for diving mammals because oxygen at high concentrations can be toxic and nitrogen can cause a narcotic effect on the central nervous system and both of them form damaging bubbles in the blood vessels and in tissue during ascent and immediately after ascent. A recent study suggests that cetaceans seem to manage their alveolar ventilation and cardiac blood flux by varying the ratio in order to manage gas formation but a mismatch in such a ratio can actually increase the nitrogen intake and consequently risk the increase of nitrogen bubbles. A sudden increase in noise for example from military exercises can scare animals causing them to swim up way too fast and that leads to such a mismatch and decompression sickness. Anyways it is best practice to always keep a close eye out on whales and dolphins by slowing down and by giving them space which is the best way to reduce any impact. And by decreasing your boat speed by six knots only, you can decrease the noise intensity by half. And like always, we finish the video with some tips on how to reduce plastic. So first, try to buy at zero waste shops where you bring your own bottles and jars to refill things. Number two, use beeswax wraps instead of plastic foil to cover up food. Number three, buy shampoo, soap and other products in bars instead of plastic bottles. Number four, really try to reduce the need to always shop for trending items and uh, like this you can help out. So thank you very much for staying with me. I hope it was useful. And if you have a new question for us, please write them in the comment section below and we will definitely check them out. See you.